nice small but inspiring setup and I call it inspiring because <laughs> if you're able to make 5,000 t-shirts out of there and more then it means it's not really the size that matters <laughs> it's the business <laughs> is idea behind the business, the business that counts, so take yeah. me back to where and when all of this began yeah um, for for I actually started as an actor not hmm. as um, a branding person you know I started with um, um, participating, going for auditions here and there, mm -hmm. you know, and then I was on Superstory, I was on Everyday People, wow. you know, I was on Schemes, produced by Wale Adenuga and Tunji Ba Michigan, you know, that was 98, 99. Wow, you go way yeah, back. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, so I did that for a while, and then I later decided to learn how to go into production. But so how does an actor stop acting and want to go into production? Uh, well, for me, maybe I just had, the passion was really burning, it was a lot. You know, I was acting, I was enjoying it, and then I just wanted to know how they were doing it. Because when, once you get back home, you sit behind the TV screen, you see, you know, all that works. You know, it was, it was really interesting, so I wanted to know more, I was curious. I went to Obafemi Aulo University, you know, and at that time, I can remember we, we, we kept going on strike every now and then. So when we were on break, we had one 12 month break. During that period, I was just, I was acting, I was working on sets, I was just making, I was just working, you know. And then when we got back to school, Coca Cola was banned in school at that time. For me, I saw an opportunity. I started producing. Uh, there's this drink called Zobo. Yeah. <laughs> so what normally happens here? You just hang out. Yeah. You don't meet your friends. Okay. Clients. Mm -hmm. you know, but you know what? Let me just leave you here. Okay. You know, um, you can go in and mm -hmm. speak to one of my clients. Okay, and, she's uh, inside. One All day, right. One day. One day. for me. She's Perfect. in there. You paid her enough money to say good things <laughs> about you. You better have. All right. <laughs> See ya. One day. Hi. Uh, hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. My name is Anita. One day is mine. <laughs> nice to meet you. Same here. He's really motivated. Um, at the time when I met him, he was still in school in the uni, and um, he was writing a play. At mm. the same time, he was acting in one of the soap operas, and he he stood out as an actor then. And soon after school, he um, he had come. You know, he said to me. I never want to work for anybody. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. And I felt it was worth encouraging him. You know, he was already doing some things for himself then. Um, so, back then, um, he tried doing some things with the pre printing um, stuff, uh, but I didn't have much to give him yeah. then, unfortunately. But he's so resilient. I think um, Femi or Maxima, like we call him, is um, a really focused individual. He's indeed an entrepreneur. But I mean, working for yourself, you don't know where the next play is going to come from. You don't know if you're, if you're going to be rejected by the next client. It takes guts, you know, to do that. And that's what Femi has done. And um, beyond, um, you know, being resilient and all of that, um, he's also a good planner. He doesn't think of a now. You know, he, he thinks of uh, five years' time, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which, which is a virtue, you know, is a very strong virtue for him. Yeah. So how about we meet in good GH? Okay, <laughs> all right then. See ya, have a great okay. day. Come on, let's pick him up. Good morning. How are you? And welcome to Ghana, by the way. Back, welcome you. back to your second home. Thank you. <laughs> Femi? Yeah? Are you one of the people who really believes that uh, things happen for a reason? Or are you the kind that says to yourself, there are no excuses for this happening? I believe Whatever you want to achieve, 
you know, go for it. So take me, let's go see um, where you basically started the business in Ghana. In Ghana. And to it. And you, you, that, yeah. that was a smart, a smart one, huh? Because <laughs> even I saw it and I was like, what is Azoto? And I said, hey, these people are capitalizing on Azoto. But it's so smart. Such a smart move. Thank you. I mean, do you know how to do Azoto? Yeah, Will you do it for it? my camera? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What did you get out of this experience? As I'm telling you, what did, what did it do for for the business? Um, it shot uh, views and tunes up. As I'm telling you, um, I can tell you, just established the show here in Ghana. Yeah connected people to the show, you know, because what we did was to take the experience on TV beyond that box. But I love that you know you are walking the talk, mm -hmm. you know, and you know that the world is your oyster. So on that note, I know this is very dramatic, but on that note, let's take a walk. All right. Let's